hey guys welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be doing a review on a very popular website an online store international online store and I'm gonna let you guys know why I'm never gonna shop here again so if you guys want to keep watching and find out what I'm talking about then just keep on watching so most of you guys know the brand Shein or she and in that website i know you know exactly what i'm talking about but it is an online website from china and they are an online boutique very very affordable or online store they sell everything they sell bedding swimsuits accessories shoes clothes baby stuff they have everything that you can think of and i placed a pretty hefty order wow like in the beginning of april and that's when everything got very serious here and no I lied I placed this in March and I got it in April so things started getting very serious packages started getting delayed so I got this package like three and a half to four weeks later than I should have so I finally got it and needless to say I was very disappointed and I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy or anything over here, but I just want to give you guys my honest opinion and review on this brand because so many people shop on this website and they do have affordable prices, but I think that it's not worth it. And the reason being is if you don't like something, just to return something, like go through the hassle, wait weeks and weeks and all of that for a refund, I just, I don't know if it's worth saving 10 to 20 extra dollars. Granted, I didn't spend too much, well, I, I did I did a hefty order, but they were having a huge sale, and a lot of people purchased during that sale on this website, and I ordered over 20 items, and I'm keeping about four things out of my entire order. So, I'm going to go through everything I'm not keeping, and let you guys know why, but this box is everything that's going back, because I don't want any of this. So... I'll just kind of go through this and explain why I'm going to try to not make this video so long. But the first thing are these sandals and they were packaged pretty well. They are with this little cute detail. It has like a rope strap and this little white band and it says she and in. So that's the brand. I'm a size nine, nine and a half and I got a size 42, which I think was a nine and a half. These fit me so big and loose and they just were really, really big. I don't think that they were bad for the price. I think they were like $11. But I can definitely find this at Target for about the same price. Try it on, purchase it, and not go through the hassle of like ordering and waiting. You know, sometimes people say that everything they get was too small. But for me, I felt the opposite. I felt like everything I'm returning, it's because it was too big. Which is so strange because that usually doesn't happen next thing i got was this dress right here and it's just like a pink cheetah dress on the website it looked a lot more nude so when i saw this color it kind of turned me off because it kind of looks like a purpley pink the material is just i don't know just seems very cheap to me it was like not a flattering dress very see-through and i was surprised because this dress had so many good reviews Everything I purchased, I looked at the reviews. I did not buy one item that didn't have reviews. So I think that's what makes me a little more disappointed is that I sat and read through review and review and review. And everyone's like, yeah, good quality, great. I loved it. And obviously everyone has different opinions. But to me, I can find something at Marshall's for the same price. This dress was $22. I can buy three dresses at like Forever 21 for the same price material so i don't know i just didn't like this material it just feels very strange i don't know i don't even know how to explain it no lo quiero next thing was this little tank top and i was kind of bummed too because i was super excited to have this tee it's a very high neckline i love this cut of shirts but something about this shirt the fit i don't know i feel like 
They made the armband very short and then, I don't know, just the fit of it is just very strange. It almost looks like it's like made for a teenager. Next is this dress and I was super bummed that this didn't come out cute because I was super excited for this. I am in love with dresses. I wear dresses most of the time because they're just so easy to throw on. And I was excited for this one. I don't have too much bad to say about this dress. It fit fine. The material is way different than I expected. I thought that this was going to be a cotton dress. I just don't like how low the cut is so low. Like it goes like this. And if you're into that, cool. I personally am not a cleavage shower. Modest is hottest in my book. And I just don't even want to go through like wearing an undershirt and all of that. It was very, very short, like ended right under my butt. And it's weird because it doesn't look like it would be that kind of dress. But yeah, I tried this on and it fit fine. It wasn't like if it was small or anything. It just looks like that's the fit of the dress. And yeah, I'm not about that life. So this is going back home. Next thing are these biker shorts. And this was so strange to me because it had the best reviews probably out of anything I got. And it is the weirdest material. I thought they were going to be cotton, but they are like a spandex material. What drives me nuts is the band. So it has this like waistband, but the elastic only goes to here. So between this part and the rest of the elastic, it just cuts and it's kind of folded. I don't know. I just don't like that part. I feel like it's just cuts off there. I don't love the material. And these were actually big on me. Everything I got was a size large. And yeah, these were super big on me, which they don't look like they're big, but they fit me very big. I'd rather just get my biker shorts from a different store. And this shirt is like a triple X. Like this, there's no way that this shirt is a large. This thing is huge, like so big. And the material just feels very cheap. This thing feels like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it kind of feels like those little carton protector things that come with fruit i don't know like those little nets i had way higher expectations for this shirt no me gusta so this is going back next is this top and i'm so sad i was really debating keeping the shirt but i thought about it too long and hard and i was like nah i'm gonna return it it is this like button up off the shoulder so it kind of sits right here and then has like these puffy sleeves and yeah, I just think that the material is very cheap. Can you hear it? It's just like, I don't know. The stitching on this is like not very good. And the sleeves, I like the little ruffle, but I don't know, something about it just didn't do it for me. So therefore, this is a no for me. So far, we're not doing very good, guys. I purchased a lot of stuff and I just <laughs> next is this t-shirt and I thought this t-shirt was so cute on the website I was like oh cool I need like little basic tees to wear it was just not a flattering fit it fit kind of loose and then the sleeves were very long and this like little neck thing was kind of flimsy and the colors are a little brighter in person so it looks a little cheaper it looks like like you got it like I don't know a not good quality store which granted it was not that expensive but i think the shirt was like 10 bucks and and not that it was expensive but i just feel like i can definitely get a bigger better bang for my book than this t-shirt we're almost done i promise next thing is another basic tank top and it is this tank top right here i was super excited about it i thought it was so cute but the fit was very 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 strange I love the material of this one. I will say it has no stretch in it though. Like this is like a solid shirt. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. But the fit of these, I don't know if they make these too short, but like this thing was like up here and like tight. Like, I don't know. And it fit everywhere else fine. I got a size large, which is true to size. It just fit very weird, very boxy. I felt like super stiff wearing it it was just the weirdest thing i don't know next thing is this dress which 
I kind of knew because when I showed my best friend Tiana, she was like, ew, why are you buying that? And I'm like, it's so cute. It's this dress here. And I just thought it was such a cute, like, little flowy long sleeve dress. I just imagined it with, like, a little cute belt around my waist. This is a bata. This, this is huge, first of all. Look, like, this thing is just, it's going back. I just... <laughs> The material isn't bad. It is very soft and light. It's lighter than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little bit thicker, but this thing is like a pijama. Like, literally an abuela in a bata, and I'm just not trying to look like that. All right, now we're going to get to the hoochie mama <laughs> outfit because this thing was like, what is this? As soon as I touched it, I was like, this material sucks. I bet you it's going to say 100% polyester, but it's not. I promise it's not 100% polyester. This is the weirdest material ever. It feels so cheap. And look at how see-through this dress is. Like, this thing is so see-through and it fit so short. I thought it was the cutest dress. It's a one-sleeve little dress with little ruffles. I just was like, oh, it's going to be so cute. This thing barely past my butt cheeks and it's so see-through like you can't tell on camera but where am I gonna wear this like absolutely not I am not gonna walk around first of all in the length of this dress second of all there's nothing I can wear under this that can cover everything that it shows and I'm not mm -mm. No, thank you. And last three items, I promise, are these things. And these are two skirts that I got. This one, I just thought that it was going to be so pretty. And this material, too, I don't know. It's just, like, very cheapish. I don't know what it was about this skirt that I really didn't like. I thought it would be a better, like, silky material, but it just feels like kind of sand like sandpaper very hard and strange and this skirt guys first of all the color is a little off I don't mind that it's green because I do love green but in the website it was like a mint color so as soon as I saw it I was like whoa I loved the little I don't know how you call that but the little like fringe thing and the slit I thought it was so cute guys you don't even know how see-through this thing is like you can't tell on the camera but this thing is so see-through that like not even an undergarment slip will will help this thing like no hay tela it's just so see-through so completely see-through and sheer and very thin and I like I have it like this in front of my ring light and I see my entire ring light stand through this thing I just could not even imagine being out in the sun wearing this skirt I can't <laughs> no bueno and last item that I am returning is this tank top and I mean I should have listened to my friend Liz because when I showed her she's like why are you getting that top it's just not very flattering and I feel like maybe if the material was better I would reconsider it, but this thing feels so cheap. I don't think that you can tell on camera, but it's another very see-through. These like buttons in the front, like it doesn't matter how buttoned they are. They're just so open and cheap looking, very not well made at all. For the price, I just, I, I'm okay because they are very affordable, but again, didn't like that now for the good news I'm gonna show you guys what I got that I did like and that I'm not returning so first thing are these pair of sandals and they're just little slides they have like that little espadrille detail and I thought that these were so cute I got the size 41 so these do fit very very well and I love how it's like that dusty rose color very cute and I'm excited to wear these the next thing are accessory pieces these earrings, I thought that they were so pretty. It kind of has this black face and then a gold face right under it with this little wooden button. I thought that they were so pretty and very just cute and trendy. So I liked those. These are a little bit on the chonga side. 
They are these little wooden hoops, but I just thought that they were very pretty and cute. And they were only a dollar. So these were really, really pretty. Next thing I got is this little like six pack of earrings. And this was like $2, which is why I'm keeping them. I thought they were cute. It has these little pearls, these little round like tortoise earrings, little studs, these pearl hoops, which I love these hoops so much. These little tassel gray earrings and these tortoise design little hoops. So I thought this was cute. It was like two or three dollars, which very affordable for a set of earrings that way. The next thing is this two pack of belts. So I believe that this was like four or five dollars and it just brings two very, very thin belts with this double loop detail in the front and it's just one of those belts that you just wrap around your waist. So I like to wear these with different dresses and things just to add like a little detail. So I'm keeping these. They were very affordable. The only clothing item that I'm keeping is this t-shirt. And the only reason I'm keeping it was because I'm like, I spent so much money buying stuff. I'm keeping some kind of clothing item. So I kept this t-shirt. It says queen on it. And for those of you that don't know, a lot of my friends call me Queenie um, or Queen or Justine the Queen um, because it rhymes. I think it kind of all started because my friend Carrie would call me Justine the Queen and then my other friend just started saying Queenie and everyone kind of that stuck with them. So I've been called Queenie for a couple years now and I think that I saw this shirt and I'm like, oh, I have to wear it one day so that I can rub my very well um, given nickname. So I just thought it was cute. It, it is pretty good material. It's pretty thick. I love how the sleeves are cuffed because I love that little detail on shirts. I loved the blue. I have been loving baby blue lately. I don't know what it is about baby blue, but I've been loving it so yes that is it as far as clothes so now we're going to talk about why i'm returning everything and i kind of explained when i was showing you guys but main reasons the quality is not good at all i think that there are people that have found staple pieces and i've even bought from them before but i've never purchased this large amount of things i have returned multiple things that i purchased from this store before but some things I kept, it's not worth it. it. I think that to save $5 on something, just go to a local store and buy it. Go to Target and spend $5 more and it'll be way better quality. I feel like even Walmart has way better quality clothes. So definitely not worth it. The material is garbage. I just, I don't know. I'm... And I don't feel like I'm very picky when it comes to clothes, but I don't like it. The see-through, I feel like most of the items were very, very, very sheer. I am not down with that. I am not, like, into that whole thing. If you are cool, that's your style, that's your thing. Personally, I don't feel comfortable walking around with clothes that are almost completely visible to see my inner parts of my body so no thank you um third the like hassle of waiting for clothes it just took forever it took i mean granted i understand what's going on i understand that we are in the middle of a situation that causes delays in shipping so that it's not too much of a determination but like to spend money and then wait so long to receive your items eh, not worth it the shoes not the best quality again they're not very expensive but i can go to ross or target or another store and find shoes i feel like even dsw sometimes has very good sales and i would just rather get a better quality item than to try to save a couple dollars for something that is gonna last me one maybe two times if i do purchase from shein again it will be accessories because their accessories are so 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 affordable like earrings are a dollar two dollars three dollars things like that i will purchase because accessories aren't something that you wear forever styles change um colors and things like that but you know i think that it's it's pretty good as far as their quality for earrings i will buy belts from them again i think that their belts were pretty nice 
and that's about it i don't think that i will be shopping very often it probably won't be my first pick or go-to i think i would much rather stick to stores that i know that have better quality that are still affordable but that i won't have so much trouble with so this baby all this stuff is going bye byes and i'm going to continue shopping at the stores that i know that i enjoy to shop at so that's my review let me know in the comments down below what your opinion is if you've purchased from this store or maybe let me know what are some online stores that you know are good and that you do recommend because that's just such a problem for me i haven't been able to find a good online store to shop at so let me know your opinions down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and your reviews if you've shopped on Shein before and yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy reviews like this so I can do more and yeah that's it I'll see you guys in my next video bye